Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a pros and cons table for your WordPress website. Now, this can be useful for a post where you want to review a product or a service and you want to list down the pros and cons of the product. So, I'll show you how to do that in two different ways. We'll be using a plugin and with that, we'll be displaying the pros and cons. And then I will also show you how to add a custom pros and cons table that we created from scratch. This is how it looks and we'll add it to our WordPress website as well. So let's get started. First of all, let's add this custom pros and cons table to our WordPress website. And after that, I'll show you how to add it using a plugin. So we'll create a post and we'll click on add new. And uh, let's add a title. So review of the product. We can type some text over here. So let me just copy some lorem ipsum text. I'm copying this from this website called lipsum.com. Just click on generate. And uh, I'll just copy some text from here. And paste it over here. So we have two paragraphs of text. And after that we will add the pros and cons table. Here, this pros and cons table is created using HTML and CSS. So if you want to add this, you have to add HTML as well to your post. Now you cannot add HTML directly to your post. It will display as it is. So for that, we'll be using an HTML block. So just click on this plus icon or just press forward slash and type HTML. And you'll find this uh, Gutenberg block called custom HTML. Just click on that. And this is where you can add the HTML of your project. So I have the source code over here. I will leave the link of the source code in the description below. So let me just copy everything inside the body. So from here till this line of code, I'll just copy this and paste it over here. Now you can go ahead and customize these list items over here. You can just add your own text right here. So you can remove any pros and cons over here by just deleting a line of code or you can add one by just copying this and adding your own pros or cons over here in the same way you can do this with the cons so i'll just keep it as it is and uh, you can click on preview to view how it looks right now all right once you're done that let's go ahead and click on publish and click on publish once more all right our post has been published now let's click on view post and this is how it looks right now we have the pros and cons over here. Now to make it look exactly like this, we have to add the CSS as well. So let's go back to the dashboard. And I have this plugin over here called custom CSS and JS. If you don't have this, then you can go to plugins and click on add new and search for this plugin. Now after installing and activating the plugin, you will find this option over here. In that, just go and uh, click on add custom CSS. And we'll just add a title to our CSS. So we'll type pros and cons CSS. And uh, let's go back to our project and I'll just copy all the CSS from style.css and paste it over here. And we have some options over here on the right. So just set everything as default and click on publish. And our CSS has been added. Let's go over here and refresh our page. And we can see the pros and cons table is being displayed over here. It is also responsive. So if we take a look at the mobile version, this is how it looks on a mobile device. Now, one last problem we have over here is that the icons are not working. Now, if you go over here, these icons are displayed using font awesome. So you have to add the link of the font awesome to WordPress for these icons to be visible. So let's go back to the HTML and uh, let's copy the link of the font awesome. So I'll just copy this uh, link from here and uh, let's go back to custom CSS and JS and uh, here you have to click on add custom HTML and I will just type font awesome CDN and just paste the link over here and we'll set it to header and front end everything is all right just click on publish and now let's refresh our page. And now we can see that the icons are working all right and uh, everything is being displayed correctly. So this is how you add a custom pros and cons table to your WordPress website. Now I'll show you how to add a pros and cons table using a plugin in WordPress. 
So let's go back to the dashboard and uh, we'll go to plugins and click on add new and just search for pros and cons and you have this plugin over here called i2 pros and cons just click on install now once it is installed just click on activate and the plugin has been activated and on the left side over here we can see a new option called i2 pros and cons let's click on that and here we can see all the different options that we have to change the appearance of the pros and cons table. We'll do that in just a minute. But uh, before that, let's go ahead and add this to our post. So let's go back to posts and click on all posts. And let's click on edit on the post. And after our custom HTML, let's add a new block. And uh, here we will search for i2. And we can see i2 pros and cons is displayed over here. Let's click on that. And now we have two options pros and cons so we can enter the pros and cons over here by just clicking on this button enter pros and cons and uh, we'll just add our pros and cons over here so let's go back to this post and I'll just copy all this from here paste it over here and when you click on enter it will have a new line so if I just copy this from here and paste it over here we can see two pros let me just copy all of these and uh, let's add the cons and you can also change the titles over here for the pros and the cons. I'll just keep it as it is and uh, let's click on close. And we have the pros and cons over here. Let's click on update and see how it looks. Let's refresh our page. And we can see this is how the pros and cons table look for the plugin. Let's go back to the dashboard and edit some of the settings. So we'll click on i2 pros and cons. And uh, we have some global settings over here. The first one is theme. So you can select different themes over here. So let's click on background and uh, let's see how it looks. Click on save changes and uh, refresh our page. And this is how the background theme looks. And we can see that we also have different icons for this theme. Let's select another theme. I'll just go bordered. And we can see we have a different theme. I'll just show you one more spacer. So we have some space between the pros and the cons. So in this way, you can have different themes for your pros and cons table. Apart from that, you can go ahead and uh, add the outer border if you want. You can add the size of the border and you can change these different options over here. Let's go back to heading. And here also we have a lot of different options. And we also can change the background color of the pros and the cons so we can see for the pros background color we have this color right here we can change this to anything we want and you can also use icons in headings so let's check that and here are all the icons that you can use for the pros and cons so here we have a list of all the icons you can choose any of these in the same way you have the icons for the cons so let's click on save changes Let's go back and uh, refresh our post. And here we can see we have different background color and we also have the icons for the pros and cons. Let's go to the section. And here you can have different settings for the text in the section. So the pros background color, if you change this to something, we can see that the whole section has this color. So in this way, you can uh, change this to anything you want. I'll just change it to white. And we can also add text underline over here. Then uh, we have icons. And then we can add the icons start position. So right now it is set to 8. Let's set it to 32 and uh, see how it changes. And we can see the icons are starting from here. So we have some spacing at the top. So you can adjust these as well. I'll just set it back to the default. And then we have the pros and the cons icons over here. So for the cons, we have this icon and for pros, we have this icon. And the option for the icons that we saw previously was for the heading. If I go back to the heading, we can see that these are the icons for the headings. So these thumbs up and thumbs down icons, these are for the headings. But these icons are for the pros and cons. And then lastly, we have another tab called button. And here we can set different styling for the button, but we cannot see any button over here in the pros and cons. 
so for that let's go back to post and click on all posts and uh, let's edit the post and uh, let's go over here and click on this pros and cons table and on the right here we can see some options so we have some common options over here we can change the pros and cons icons over here as well and we can show the main title over here so here we can see pros and cons will be displayed as the main title let's remove that and here we can see we have the option of showing a button so if I click on that we have the option of showing the button let's click on that and here we can add the icon for the button or the text for the button and the button link so after the pros and cons table you can add a button that can go to any of your page or any different site you want and you can change the icons of the button over here as well so this is how you can add buttons to your pros and cons table and then lastly in the advanced you can add additional CSS All right so let's click on update and see how the button looks in our post so here we can see the button is being displayed over here let's go ahead and check out different options let's select the bootstrap option and let's save changes and let's refresh our page and this is how the bootstrap button looks so you can go ahead and check out these different options over here and uh, additionally you can go ahead and uh, change all of these options separately as well so that's basically how you add a pros and cons table to your wordpress website we have used the plugin as well as a custom html and css code so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day